Hi everyone. Uh, here we go, more quadratics. The other ones I did before, this is a repeat, but just a more of a chance to take them in better. Okay, I'm going to have to turn this into two brackets. Why I turn into two brackets is then one bracket will give me one possible answer and the other bracket will give me the other possible answer. How can I get an x squared when I'm multiplying? An x times an x. If I expanded the brackets, it would give me an x squared. So how can I get an 8? Whatever this number is, multiplied by whatever that number is, will give me that 8. So the possibilities are 1 and 8, and 2 and 4. Next question I ask is, what happens because of this minus? Well, if I've got minuses involved, let's say they were both minus. And I'll talk about which of these adds up to 6. Let's ignore the minus for a moment. 2 plus 4 would give us 6. Then I'll put the 2 on the 4. If I multiply the minus 2 by minus 4, I'd get positive 8. So I should say negative 2 by negative 4. Interchangeably use the words, is the positive 8. So that's the correct answer to it. This symbol here tells us that the signs have to be the same. So the plus there tells us we've got the same sign. Because if one was a negative, that would end up being a negative. Two possible answers, shortcutting here. Is R just x equals 2 or x equals 4? I'm allowed to do that because this says 1x. I can go 2, take 2. 2, take 2 would be 0. So I can replace that by that number would give me 0. So the shortcut is to write the opposite of that number there. Only works though if this is a 1. So I've got two possible answers that would make that true. Go over this one here. The big difference is this here. This tells us they have to be different. How can I get two numbers and multiply to a negative eight? One has to be negative, one has to be positive. Same system, go back to the got to be two x's here, because if I'm expanding the brackets there, and x times an x would be x squared. How can I get an eight? The same as before, a one and an eight, or a two and a four. And you're gonna say which one is negative, so I don't usually write down the front there and say what's happening and I suppose I don't even do that in my brain after a while. Minus one plus eight would be seven and we want a two. Minus two plus four would be a positive two. We don't want a positive two, we want a negative two. So the answer has to be two times four with a negative on that one. So two is a positive and the four is a negative. So 2 times negative 4 would be negative 8. If I add them, or actually if I look at their difference, the difference between 2 and 4 is a negative 2. So what's my possible answers? I'll go back to slowly again. x plus 2 equals equal 0, or x minus 4 equals 0. So if I did take 2 here, I'd end up with x is minus 2. If I add 4 to the left hand side, I'd add 4 to the right hand side, I get x equals 4. And the two possible answers are, this was a minus two became a plus two became a minus two. This was a minus four become a plus four. Last one, and quicker. That's an x and that's an x. We need them to be different signs. Different signs. I can get a one times a four, or I can get a two times a two. One of them has to be negative, so I could do that. Minus one plus four happened to be three. That was nice. I got it first go. So the 1 gets the minus and the 4 gets the plus. And there are shortcuts like this. The bigger of the two numbers, the 4 and the 1, would get that plus. So if that makes sense to you, the bigger of these two numbers has more effect, is more dominant, so it would turn it into a plus. So that would get the plus. And then I can go x minus 1 equals 0, or x plus 4 equals 0, and then I get x equals 1, or x equals minus 4. And they're the two solutions. Please press like and subscribe, it's really helpful. Thank you.